Hello YouTube, today we're going to be doing a tier list of pretty much every item that I could find on fortnitetracker.gg So, um, basically it shows you every item and weapon So, um, I'm just gonna start, uh, real quick so that it doesn't get too long of a video So first up, this is actually the icon for the saucer from the, uh, UFOs Also, we're not gonna be going with, uh, how good it used to be we're gonna be going with how good items are right now or when they were last in the game so flying saucer used to be pretty crazy uh, I used to be able to spam it but they nerfed it a bit and the fire rate was decreased still really good though cuz uh, it was really annoying to deal with and it would just destroy everything pretty much instantly so it's still a good uh, vehicle weapon basically that's what it is um the guided missile, despite being tweaked a little bit, uh, I would say it it was pretty great. I mean, it was a broken item. It was literally a uh, remote controlled yeah. missile and did a lot of damage. You could do rocket rides and stuff. Uh, and a lot of people actually want this back in the game, so it's a pretty crazy item. The mechs. Uh, might have to put these in godlike, even though. Oh, by the way, these will be based off of personal opinion, um, mostly, but the mechs were very annoying. You would have a shotgun you could use on them. You could also fire missiles and stomp people, and it would just destroy literally anything that was built in an instant, so really annoying. Lump of coal. I never use this, but it's pretty much like the rusty can, so obviously that's awful. Why would you want to use a rusty can in a battle? Probably for trolling purposes. Now, the storm wing. The weapon on the thing was actually pretty good. So, the storm wing would take down builds pretty quickly, and since it was a plane, you could fly in and it would really help you destroy things. So, the storm wing is pretty good. <coughs> now, the cannonball. We're not going off of the vehicle here, we're going off of the weapon that was on it. The weapon itself was pretty awful. I've never really, I don't think I've ever really killed someone with the cannonball. And it traveled really slowly. The only thing it was really good for was launching yourself out of it, which would actually get you really far. So that is a good thing about it. But the cannonballs themselves are actually pretty awful, in my opinion. Now we got the suppressed bolt action sniper rifle. Now, for a sniper rifle, I feel like this one was pretty weak. But it was still pretty good. I mean, it was a one-shot headshot kill, so and it would come with a suppressor on it, so you would have a less chance of being detected whenever you shot it. So that's a pretty good quality that it had. Now, uh, the tactical, the tac AR. Uh, I would say it's not super good, but it's decent. It feels pretty good and easy to use, but honestly, uh, it doesn't do that much damage. But it was kind of like an AR SMG hybrid, so it was a pretty strange feeling weapon overall. The AR. So, <clears throat> whoops. The AR is pretty good weapon. It has first shot accuracy, decent damage, decent fire rate, and it can be used to pressure people even when they're sitting inside a box. So, AR overall is a good weapon. Now this is the Mythic Scar, the Skies AR, and that is going to be godlike because the fire rate was really high for this weapon, and the damage was also pretty high, and it was a better version of the Legendary Scar, so obviously that's going to be a godlike weapon. And now the regular Legendary Scar here is going to fall into the Great category. Uh, lots of damage pretty good fire rate and better reload because it was a legendary weapon and the scar has been around for longest time pretty much so OG weapon really great weapon now the infinity blade it was pretty annoying it did a lot of damage and you could get up to t t uh, oh my gosh I just stuttered really badly 200 health and shield or pretty sure you could get 200 health 200 shield or something uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you do quite a lot of damage. You could do a launching attack. You could also do 
regular spinning melee attack. But the thing I really liked about this the most is that you could farm mass really quick, so that also made it quite OP. But you couldn't carry any other weapons around if this was equipped. Now the bolt, this is the blue bolt. It's a good weapon. Its reload speed isn't going to be as fast because it's only the blue bolt. But I mean, pretty good body shot damage, and it's a one-shot headshot kill, so the bolt is good if you know how to aim it. <coughs> and then this is literally just the legendary version of it, so I'm going to put it in great because a little bit more body damage, a bit more headshot damage, but also it could um, also reload a lot faster because it was the legendary version of the weapon. So that's going to be in the great category. Now, the Primal Mythic AR, I'm honestly not sure if I've ever used this thing. I'm pretty sure I never have, so I'll just put it in never use. <coughs> so, the next one we're doing is... Oi! <coughs> next item here is the Primal AR. Honestly, it's not the best AR in my opinion I would say it was pretty decent or maybe good because at the time it was the alternative to the regular AR the primal had no first shot accuracy but it had pretty good damage and it had really good fire rate and that's what the primal was good at so overall pretty good item now the primal bow the primal bow itself was decent it was lower damage but would charge up faster and it has some pretty good upgrades but overall by itself is pretty decent uh, the next item on the list is going to be the primal pistol and I've, honestly I never really even wanted to use this thing because of how awful I thought it was I mean it had a really low fire rate I don't know about the damage because I never really hit someone with this thing but the handling was really weird on it too, so I honestly think it was probably one of the worst guns I've ever used in Fortnite, so it's going to be an awful tier weapon. Now the Primal Shotgun. Uh, if It used to be really great, but now, honestly, it became kind of bad. It had the high fire rate, you could kind of spam it, but the damage, it just got really nerfed pretty hard. <laughs> Because it used to be way too OP, so they had to nerf it a lot, so it became kind of bad, to be honest. Now the Primal Shotgun, uh, the Mythic Primal Shotgun. Uh, I'll put it in good. It had better stats than the regular one, obviously. A lot better reload and stuff, so it's going to have better qualities than the regular one. <coughs> primal SMG. Now, I don't know about this gun. I haven't used it that much either, but I don't think it was that good. It had a pretty good fire rate, but the damage was a little bit low, so I'm going to put it in bet. And keep in mind, I haven't really used this weapon much, so I'm not going to hate on it or anything like that. Now, the Boom Sniper. I've only used this thing about once. Honestly, it's going to be a lot harder to aim the Clinger. If you hit someone with it, then it's going to explode them, but if you were to headshot, with, uh, headshot someone with it, then I don't think, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't kill them, because it's a clinger shot. So yeah, it was decent. Honestly, I think the regular heavy sniper is better, even though this did come with five shots in one magazine. Now, the newly released combat AR. Honestly, I would not prefer over the regular AR. I think it's decent. I mean, if you can get control over the really fast fire rate and high recoil, then it can be uh, it can be shredding enemies. You just gotta get used to it. Maybe I gotta get used to it and use it a bit more. <coughs> now, this is the blue burst, but the chapter 2 version. And it became two round burst later on. Honestly, I think it's a decent weapon. For some reason, I feel like this is a lot less accurate than the epic and legendary versions of the burst. I don't know why, but it just feels like that. And it just makes it feel weaker for some reason. But it's still a decent weapon. Now, this is the 
mythic burst AR, and I'm gonna have to put that in godlike because it was it was pretty much a better version of the legendary burst AR, but also it was just so accurate. It had a good fire rate, and honestly, I feel like it could have beaten the scar in medium to long range situations. So I'm gonna have to put that in godlike. Now we got the epic and legendary burst AR here, uh, chapter 2 version, uh, that's which one we're going off of right here, and I would say it's a pretty great weapon. It Once again, it can outclass the scar in medium to lo uh, long range situations because of the accuracy, even the second shot on the burst is really accurate, and headshot damage does quite a bit of damage, so if you can line up your shots and hit full burst, then you will be rewarded. Now this is the mechanical explosive bow. Um, honestly, p I feel like people didn't use this as much, but it was still good. I mean, it was literally a bow that shoots out explosives, and if you hit someone with this, then it's gonna be pretty annoying for the enemy to deal with. Rapid fire SMG. Now, I haven't gotten that many hits with it or kills or anything, but I've used it before and it's pretty good. So if you line up the shots and control the recoil, it can shred really quickly. That's literally why it's called Rapid Fire SMG. Uh, uh. But also, the one other good thing about this weapon is that it had, uh, despite it having a really low magazine size, it had a really fast uh, reload time, which pretty much made up for it. So I honestly kind of like the Rapid Fire SMG. Uh, now the Amban Sniper Rifle. I i don't think I've ever hit someone with this thing before, so technically I can say that I've never used it. Uh, I haven't gotten that many chances to use it, so I'm just going to say never used. Lever Action Rifle. I mean, if you hit a shot on someone, they're going to most likely build and probably heal up, so you it's not very probable that you'll get a kill with it, but... It was still pretty decent, did a lot of damage if you headshotted someone with it, and if you can hit the shots then it's decent. Uh, decoys, I honestly don't know why I'm doing this, I added mostly just lethal stuff. Uh, I'll just put that here I guess, I don't know why I added the decoys. Now we got the Mythic Deadpool's hand cannons. So the dual hand cannons, when I first saw them I thought they were going to be really strong because it's based off of the hand cannon, but instead it was really weak, but then it, the trade-off was you would get regenerated whenever you hit someone with it, but honestly that didn't help at all and it was pretty bad and probably, probably the worst mythic ever, and it honestly was just too weak for a mythic weapon. <coughs> Dragon's Breath Shotgun. So this was a little bit of weird weapon for me when I first used it. I thought it was kind of weird how you can only shoot it once. Um, it is. It can be hard to get high damage shots with it because you need to be like point blank range in order to be able to hit someone with it. But it can be good if you pair it up with another shotgun or an SMG or something like that, or just switch to an AR and spray. So Dragon's Breath can do a lot of damage, and I'm pretty sure the legendary one could actually uh, 200 damage. So. It was pretty good. Now the Dragon's Breath Sniper Rifle, I used it pretty recently. I'm gonna have to say, it was a great weapon. It was literally a legend- it's literally a legendary bolt. But, the thing is, whenever you shot it, it would have the fire effect, so if someone was building with wood, you could just shoot it with the Dragon's Breath and it would all burn down. So, it was a bolt action sniper rifle, but with extra effects, so I think that's pretty good, honestly. Now the next item slash weapon we got here is the Jules drum gun. Definitely not as good as the Midas drum gun. So I'm gonna have to say, honestly, people stopped using it when it became the Jules drum gun. So I'm gonna have to put it in bad because they heavily nerfed the damage and the fire rate, which just made it not the same. So I'm gonna have to put it in bad. They nerfed it pretty heavily. Drum shotgun. I feel like the shotgun was actually pretty underrated, and the reason may be because at the same time the combat shotgun was out, the pre-patch the pre version of it 
so that pushed it down but honestly I think I'm not gonna put it in good it's not it's not in that tier it was decent you had to get up close to do any damage with it really but with the blue one you could do 50 headshot damage with it and it sprays really fast so if you were someone who struggled to like hit someone when you were right next to them or like panicked in a box a lot then you could just spray this around and maybe hit some good shots so the drum shotgun was actually pretty good in some situations <coughs> now the burst quad launcher I'm gonna say never use because I've literally never used it I've only used it in like private servers before but yeah I don't really know how it actually performs <coughs> Easter egg launcher, so this is just the Easter version of the grenade launcher. Um, it might explode on impact if I remember correctly, so it was pretty great. So it was literally a grenade launcher that exploded on, I don't know if it exploded on pick, but either way it was still great. Um, now we have the, um, I'm only going to be doing lethals, so let me get the non-lethals out of the way. Um we got the boombo right here so the boombo I'm gonna have to say it was godlike because it only took shotgun ammo and shotgun ammo is not that hard to find and you're only gonna be firing one at a time and it did like over a hundred headshot damage and it was it had splash damage even though the splash damage range was really low I mean that's still really useful and it did a lot of damage so this weapon was pretty annoying and pretty good <clears throat> now the dual shadow hunters I'm gonna have to say they're pretty bad never I've never seen anyone use it against another person the only time I've used them is when I was fighting some feet uh those weird cube monster things that were added recently but the weapons themselves are not it's honestly not good I feel like it's even worse than the normal fiend hunter Honestly, it, this weapon did not redeem itself at all, so it's pretty bad. Now the Primal Flame Bow, I'm gonna say it's it's pretty good. It's a Primal Bow, but it would cause a flame effect and you could burn structures with it, which can be very annoying, so Flame Bow, pretty good. <clears throat> now the E11 Blaster from the Star Wars event. This weapon was absolutely terrible. I mean, it came with infinite ammo, you wouldn't have to worry about that. However, you would have to worry about overheating and extremely low damage. I mean, people were comparing this to the Grey AR, and the Grey AR was honestly probably better than this weapon. And that's not good for a mythic weapon, so... Uh, this thing was very awful. It, n I've never seen anybody really use it before, so... that's. I feel like that's where it belongs. Now the Grabatron, if we're talking about the weapon itself, I would say it was kind of bad. I never really killed anyone with it. Maybe I'm just not using it properly, but I will admit I picked it up because it was just fun to use. You could just throw random objects around, and you could even throw gasoline cans at people, so that was also pretty fun. Now the hand cannon. The hand cannon, I'm going to say, is a good weapon. If you headshot someone with this, it's going to do a lot of damage and it will crack them. And you just got to be really accurate with it. But if you are, this weapon is going to reward you. The harpoon gun. I'm counting this as a lethal because, I mean, I'm honestly going to say it was pretty good. I mean, it's weird that a harpoon gun is all the way up here. But, I mean, 75 damage for one shot. Yes, it would have the delay whenever you shot it, but uh, the trade-off was worth it because you could break down people's builds with it pretty easily, especially wood. It would one-shot wood in the structure. And then 75 damage for a utility item is a lot, so this thing was honestly pretty good. And you could use it for fishing, which would give you even better loot, so this thing is actually pretty crazy for a utility item. Stark Industries Rifle. Not really used this much before. I would say... I don't know what to say about it. It's really similar to the Pulse Rifle, but somewhat different. So I'm just going to say never used and maybe just base it off of the Pulse Rifle or something. Which is coming up soon. 
And then this is the blue version of the uh, infantry rifle. I'll say it's good. If you're accurate, it can really reward you, especially if you chain together your shots, then it'll do a lot of damage. Because it requires more precision, it'll reward you with more damage, so that's actually pretty good. And it has the iconic M1 Grand ping to it as well, which is pretty cool. Chimera, the Mythic Chimera Ray Gun. Now, I'm gonna say the Mythic version was... What is this? Oh, this is the Source or something? Okay, so... Uh, I was on the Mythic Chimera Ray Gun. I'm gonna say it was decent. It had higher damage than the normal Chimera Ray Gun, because it's a Mythic. And obviously the damage isn't going to be that high, because if it had too high of a damage, it would be way too OP. But you would have infinite ammo with it, and if you keep hitting someone with it, it could do a lot of damage. So this was a decent weapon. But the regular version was kind of bad, because the damage was just so low that no one really ever used it in actual battles. Honestly, I think the only ray gun that was worth using was the mythic version, so... I'm gonna put the normal version in bad tier. Marksman 6 shooter. I'm pretty sure this thing had like a 4 times headshot multiplier, but I never used it before, and honestly, I feel like I missed out on that, because I feel like I would like that. The mechanical bow. The mechanical bow was really good. A lot slower than the primal bow, but if you charged it up fully and got a headshot, I'm pretty sure it would one sh uh, one shot kill. And it did a lot more damage, so honestly, the mechanical bow was probably better than the uh, regular primal. <laughs> now, the legendary revolver, I'm gonna put it in... Uh, it's not really in my ideal loadout, so I'll put it I'll put it in good. It's faster than the hand cannon, but does less damage. However, uh, the damage is still really high on the legendary revolver. And if you were accurate enough to use it, then honestly, it could have been worth it. Especially if you just wanted to get some damage into the enemy. The legendary hunting rifle. I honestly think this is pretty great. Especially in chapter 2 season 3. People were using it a lot. The no scope accuracy was absolutely insane. It would go straight like almost all the time. And then it would be a one shot headshot kill. Guaranteed. And it would reload really fast. Even if there was no scope, you didn't need a scope with this thing. Everyone knows that this weapon was the god of trick shotting. So, yeah, I'm going to put the hunting rifle in great. Personally, I'm a huge fan of it. Now, this right here I notice is slightly different from the normal uh burst pulse rifle or the normal bur oh my god. The normal pulse rifle is the burst pulse rifle. It's an exotic version, and I've never used it, so I'm just going to put it there. <laughs> now, the Mythic Pulse Rifle. It was obviously... Oh, God. Oh, I just ate, so I'm burping a lot. Oh, the Mythic Pulse Rifle was actually pretty good. Uh, it was a lot better than the normal Legendary version, obviously. Um, when you were not aiming down the sights, and you were just firing from the hip, it would fire faster, and then when you aimed down the sights, it would be a lot slower, but a lot more accurate. But, the Mythic version was good. Now, the normal version, I never really used, and honestly, I might have to put it in bad tier. Because I never really used this thing. I did see some people using it, but not that much. And... Honestly, I feel like even though it has the two different firing modes for when you're firing from the hip or not, it's not really worth it, and I don't really like it that much. So I'm going to put it in bad. <coughs> now the compact SMG, I'm going to put it in good, because if you know how to aim this thing, it'll be really annoying. Especially if you just laser someone and headshot someone with it. And it can also destroy builds really quick, so if you're stuck in a box and you whip this out, this might save your life. And now we've got the legendary pistol, which I'm going to say was actually pretty good. Because the first shot accuracy refreshed extremely fast, so this thing could consistently chain together shots and do a lot of damage very quickly. And it had 
a uh, very high fire rate so honestly the legendary pistol was a really good weapon now we've got the blue charge shotgun here and the blue charge shotgun was honestly a good weapon now the blue charge shotgun did do a lot of damage and stuff so that was also pretty good even if you didn't charge it up it would still do a lot of damage so honestly I think the charging mechanic was worth it now the legendary charge shotgun this thing did a lot a lot of damage especially if you charge it up you could easily easily one shot headshot someone with this and I honestly think it's probably one of the best shotguns so and I really like this weapon so I'm gonna put it in great now the kits mythic charge shotgun is honestly probably one of the best shotguns I've ever used I'm gonna put it in godlike I mean I've literally beaten a 1v3 before in a real game and I didn't even need to charge this thing up and it did an insane amount of damage I was able to beat a 1v3 with this thing I mean come on like this weapon is insane <coughs> now we've got the sideways minigun and honestly I am not a fan of the sideways weapons they're just really weak and really weird to use the sideways minigun is pretty bad despite it gaining extra fire rate whenever you charged it up um yeah it wasn't that good to, or it's not that good to be honest now the sideways rifle I've used this a lot more than the minigun but I think it's pretty awful yes it would do more damage the more you shot it and stuff but I never see like anyone using this thing it's just not powerful enough and you have to spray it before you even get to have the higher damage the enemy is already gonna they're probably gonna be building already the first time you shoot them so I honestly not do not think it's worth it to just shoot it on purpose to get higher damage because then it's just gonna overheat and I honestly don't think that's a good weapon the proximity grenade launcher was really good it was really annoying and it could detect people through walls it did have a lower damage considering it was a launcher but the fact that it could find the enemies and explode automatically made it a lot easier to aim and that's what made it so annoying to face against now the blue pump I'm gonna say the blue pump is great even though it's only a blue pump the damage is still very insane it used to be able to 200 pump but now it doesn't anymore but despite that the damage is still really insane at close range if you're accurate you're definitely going to be rewarded with high damage so it's a great weapon and now the legendary pump obviously that's godlike and probably one of the best shotguns ever in the game in the history of the game it used to do 220 but I believe the legendary version does like 209 or something I honestly forgot but still a lot of damage and if you could headshot someone with this th thing at point-blank range it's probably gonna kill instantly so this weapon is honestly very worth it to pick up the rail gun uh, I don't I don't wanna honestly I think it's godlike I mean it's like a heavy sniper it can one-shot builds but instead it can one shot two builds in one shot the reload wasn't too bad the charge delay you have to get used to a little bit if you've never used it before but also you could literally shoot enemies through at least one wall or surface so that quality really helped by this by itself this thing was really crazy but if you got a recon scanner it was game over I mean I've gotten multiple dubs with this thing and honestly it could carry games because of that shooting through the wall quality it was just insane now the blue rpg uh slower reload lower damage but still a great weapon i mean it's an rpg it's an explosive weapon which is pretty it's a rare weapon in fortnite but it's a great weapon now we're gonna have the legendary version of the rpg and honestly it's godlike because of the amount of damage it does and how how much it affects structures whenever someone's building a five-star hotel boom you can just fire this thing and it'll be gone 
So not only is it very useful for killing, but it's also useful for taking down enemy bases and builds and stuff. So it's really useful. Uh, we got a lot left to go, so we're gonna be doing the stink bomb next, which I would say is a good item. It wouldn't do that much damage, but it would cause a lot of pressure on the enemy. It would cause a yellow fog to appear on their screen, and it would still damage them through surfaces, and it ignored shields. So this thing caused a lot of pressure, and you could just finish someone off with uh, after you hit someone with this. So it's honestly a really good item to use. <laughs> now the lever action uh, shotgun is honestly a pretty good shotgun. I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, less damage than the pump. Uh, it's kind of slow too, but also it's not that bad. If you get close enough and hit a high damage shot, then it can really do some work for you. So you just got to get close enough and you know just hit the high damage shots with it. That's what a shotgun's for. Now next up is the blue scope they are. It used to be the purple one, but now it's blue. Honestly, it became decent, I would say. It's not a very ideal weapon, to be honest. But it was pretty good. And also, it did a pretty good amount of damage, but they really reduced the fire rate on it. And that kind of did kill the weapon a little bit. Now the epic and legendary version of the scoped AR. This thing was good I would say. It did more damage. Still a slow fire rate. Not much to say about it. If you were accurate it could be pretty good. Alright and the next weapon or item. Um, I'm continuing this on the next day actually, this is the next day. Uh, so the scope revolver was, I'm gonna say it was a decent weapon because it wasn't really in the ideal loadout but if you could hit your shots with it, uh, the headshot damage was pretty high and it came with the scope so you could see pretty easily so uh, not too bad of a weapon on uh, by itself. Now the Nighthawk revolver. I'll also put that decent because it's just so similar. It's literally a scope revolver. But the thing is it came with the thermal sight. But honestly, I don't think it really helped that much. And I didn't use it much. I didn't think it was that useful. So I'm just going to put it at decent. Now the makeshift rifle. The makeshift rifle was pretty bad. I mean, it was used to be crafted into a different weapon, it wasn't really used to be, uh, it wasn't really made to be used in the entire match. Uh, the makeshift rifle was really slow and had no first shot accuracy, and it wasn't that strong, so the makeshift rifle was not that good. Now this is the makeshift bow. The makeshift bow by itself is I would say uh, maybe decent damage is pretty low but uh for the bows at least but it could do a decent amount of damage it was a low rarity weapon and you could craft it into a different bow so it wasn't all around the worst thing ever but it wasn't that good either forgot to full screen um now we got the makeshift revolver let me just, uh, okay, it's only gonna go up, to, go up to here. The makeshift revolver was awful. No first shot accuracy on a revolver is just not a very good combination at all. The damage could have been high, but it was really hard to hit your shots with this thing because of the no first shot accuracy, so the makeshift revolver was honestly probably one of the worst weapons ever, and I really didn't like it at all. Makeshift shotgun. It used to be really bad, but now I would say it's decent. And the reason why is because they buffed it, um, they gave an extra round in the mag instead of just having two. And it does a decent amount of damage and you can craft it into something much better, so... Overall, the weapon itself isn't super great, but it's not the worst ever as well. But I will say that um, it's pretty decent. <coughs> 
Now the makeshift SMG. This was a pretty bad one. And the reason why is because obviously it's used to be uh, crafted into a different SMG. And it's based off the TAC SMG so it's kind of sad how they based off of a weapon that used to be so great. This one had slow fire rate and not very good accuracy and was pretty weak so all those things combined together are not going to make a very good weapon at all. Alright, now the shockwave bow. I'm going to put that at the great tier. Uh, the reason for it being at the great tier is because not only was the damage as high because it was a mechanical bow, but if you fully charged it you could use the shockwave grenade mechanic it had on it and you could escape certain situations and do certain tricks and plays and stuff which made it probably one of the most useful items at the time so that is gonna be in the great tier <clears throat> alright now we got the shockwave launcher um, I said that I'm not gonna put non-lethals but here it is I mean the jewels grappler thing wasn't here either but or whatever whatever um, Kit shockwave launcher I would put it at good it doesn't do any damage or anything however it can help you escape certain situations and now rockets are a lot more common so it's gonna be easier to find ammo for this thing and you can jump really high and escape certain situations um now this is the dual suppressed pistols I never used them because it was in spy games and you could only get it if you got like lucky and got the certain perks to get this thing so I never used it normal suppressed pistol uh, I would say it's pretty good because it had first shot accuracy fast fire rate pretty good damage and also it had a suppressor so it would be harder to detect someone if they were shooting this um, from far away so it was pretty good even at mid range obviously not for long range but close to medium range it was a pretty solid weapon now the heavy sniper I'm gonna put heavy sniper at the great tier uh, this weapon was around for a long time it's been vaulted though and they actually nerfed it uh, nerfed the damage but despite that it does a heavy amount of damage body shot does almost 150 damage and the headshot does over 300 and this thing uh, used to one shot structures and pretty much any structure so you could get rid of walls and cover and then your teammates could just kinda spray them down and that's what made it so useful the only negative thing about it really was the slow reload now the Zapatron this thing was in the game for literally like a day so I've never used it before and most people probably haven't either now this is the Chitari energy launcher um I don't know how to put these because like everybody was really strong and had a lot of HP I wouldn't I'm not gonna give these ones a rating because I don't know how they would operate in they would probably be really OP in normal battle royale so it wouldn't really be fair to rank these um now the heavy AR the heavy AR isn't great but it's not at the decent tier I'll say it's pretty good I feel like it used to be a lot better uh, the headshot damage used to be like 98 on the legendary one or something like that it used to be really OP but they nerfed it and patched it a bunch of times and it's still pretty solid weapon if you can aim well if you aim well then you'll be rewarded with high damage however you will have to deal with a much slower fire rate than the normal AR but still a pretty solid weapon now suppress scar I would also say this is pretty good it's not at the level of the scar however um, it's definitely weaker than the normal scar and the bloom is pretty insane on it to be honest but if you know how to use it it can actually be pretty useful and you can spray people with it plus it comes with a integrated uh, suppressor so it'll be harder for people to detect you if you're shooting this so overall I was a pretty big fan of this weapon <coughs> now this is the epic and legendary version of the infantry rifle and I'm gonna say this is great 
Reason being is because it did a lot of damage, especially if you headshot at people. Uh, high precision and accuracy requirement rewards you with high damage, and I really like those kind of weapons. So, if you could chain shots together, you would get an insane amount of damage, and you could kill targets real quick with this. So, that, in my opinion, belongs in the great tier. The normal hunting rifle, or I mean the green and blue hunting rifle. I would say it's good. I mean, it has less no scope accuracy than the epic and legendary version, and slower reload, so that's why it's only dropped down to the good tier. However, it still had one shot headshot capabilities, pretty high body shot damage. There was no scope on it, but we all know the hunting rifle didn't have to have a scope to be good. And that's what it was meant for, just being quick and shooting down targets. Next one was the double barreled shotgun. I wasn't a huge, huge fan of this and never really used it much. Um, it would be good if you knew how to use it correctly, but I feel like it could just be outgunned, but I'll put it at decent. Only came with two rounds. And you had to be literally in front of your target in order to do any damage with this. Because if you weren't, then it would do like nothing. So you have to be right in front of your target. And you probably wanted to switch to an AR after shooting someone with this. Because it's not going to insta-kill most likely. It can do a lot of damage, but only because with two rounds and you have to be really close. So you just have to know how to use this weapon. <coughs> the Fiend Hunter Crossbow. The Fiend Hunter crossbow, let's be honest, was, I don't want to say it's awful, but it kind of was, to be honest. Or actually, I like this better than the normal Fiend, the dual Fiend Hunters, so I'm only going to put it that bad. It was really good at killing the Fiends, of course, but normal players, it wasn't very useful. It did one damage to structures, and not a very high amount of damage to players, but uh, it did have a lot of accuracy. A lot more than the dual fiend hunter, so just for that, I'm gonna put it in the same tier. <laughs> now, the crossbow, and then I've got the Valentine's Day crossbow. Mmm, I don't know, man. Let's just put it at, like, decent or something. The weapon itself, I, I was questioning if I should put it in bad, but this is a pretty OG weapon, and it does a lot of headshot damage, so once again, if you know how to aim it, it can do a lot of damage. But the only bad thing about this is that the projectile speed was really low, so you have to be good with this thing in order to get kills with it. The drum gun, one of the all-time greats. That's going in great tier. Um, the drum gun has a high mag capacity, pretty good damage, good fire rate, and you could just spray for days with this thing and instantly shred people. The drum gun is a great gun even right now the normal version hasn't been in the game for a long time but I really do hope it comes back because it was a great weapon hop rock dualies let's be honest I never use this thing so I'm gonna put it here uh, the normal dualies the dualies are a good weapon it does a lot of damage and has a good fire rate and a pretty decent magazine capacity so if you could hit your shots with this thing it would do a lot of damage because it was like technically two round burst it would shoot both automatically and it was a pretty cool weapon <laughs> flint knock never really used the flint knock against anybody or anything so I wouldn't really know the flint lock pistol was let's say decent um, you could get trolled with this thing because teammates could actually shoot you with it and knock you off of structures. But um, the good thing about it was you could jump up and get height with it, hit kind of cool trick shots. And if you hit a headshot with it, it would do a lot of damage. So the flint knock was good, but the accuracy was pretty not good. So you just had to be kind of closer to be able to use it. This is another non-lethal. I'm still gonna rank it though. Um, I'm gonna say that it was good because um, 
Or actually, that wouldn't be fair if I don't rank this one and I do. So I'm just gonna put non-lethals here. <clears throat> now the grenade launcher. The grenade launcher was pretty great. Uh, if you knew how to get people stuck in a box or get them stuck in certain places, then you could just launch some grenades in there and it'll kill them in just two grenades if they have full shield. So it was pretty strong and pretty good. So I'm putting it in the great tier. Now we've got the Meowsel's uh, Piao Piao Rifle. And I don't know if I would say godlike. I feel like people didn't use it as much as the Skies AR or the Ocean's Burst or Kit's Charge Shotgun. But it was, it was a great weapon. It was better than the Legendary Heavy AR. And it featured higher um, reload speeds and everything. And for a Mythic Weapon it was pretty great. Uh, I wouldn't say it's godlike, but it's pretty great. Now the regular heavy AR, uh, the regular or the epic and legendary heavy AR was a good weapon. Um, to be honest, I feel like I never really did as good with it as I did with the scar or the burst rifle, just because it's harder to hit shots and you can't really spray with it. But overall, pretty good weapon, low fire rate, high damage. The minigun. The minigun was great, the epic and legendary version even, because uh, it used to have infinite, uh, it used to have no cooldown or anything, you wouldn't have to cool it down, but they nerfed that. But despite that, it's still really good because I'm pretty sure they actually increased the fire rate, and you could just shred people because the fire rate would just make the, it would make you get a lot of hits, so it was really great. The overheat wasn't too bad either. <clears throat> now this is the mythic version of the minigun, the Brutus minigun. That's going in godlike because you had a, uh, you could spin it up for longer, you could use it for longer, faster cooldown. Everything was good about it, and it was really OP, and everyone was using it. So that's going in godlike. All right, looks like we got all the mythics out of the way. I don't know. I don't know where the Midas drum gun went. To be honest with you, uh, I guess that's gone. It would have been great though, or I mean, godlike. Oh wait, I think I it was actually just put as Jules drum gun, but I'm not sure. All right, LMG. The LMG was good. It came with uh. I believe is a 100 round mag, a lot of ammo, and it comes with a pretty good amount of damage for an LMG, it's just that you had to deal with a high amount of recoil and very slow reload speeds, but you could master it and it could actually be a really useful weapon, so it's going to be in the good tier. Now the machine pistol, I never used this thing, not even the OG version, so, uh, excuse me, let me know what you season 1 OGs thought of the machine pistol. The quad launcher. The quad launcher was pretty annoying. It was good. It came with four rockets. It did a lot less structure damage than the regular rocket launcher, but you could fire four rockets. It did do less damage, but it was just so easy to hit people with it that it would just be really annoying. So, pretty good weapon overall. Suppressed SMG. If it's based off of right now, which it is, it's bad. I mean, it used to be really good high up, slower fire rate, but still not that bad and high amount of damage. But then they nerfed it, and now it has low damage and low fire rate. And that is not going to help the weapon at all, and now it's a lot worse. And when they nerfed it, people just stopped using it. I never saw anybody really using this weapon, so yeah, it's a shame to see it go down, but it belongs in the bad tier now, sadly. <laughs> the six shooter um i'm gonna get honest here i was not a fan of the six shooter i'm gonna say it was kind of bad i mean like it would do a pretty decent amount of damage if you headshot it with it if you hip fired with it it would make you shoot faster but if you aim down the sights it would make you shoot slower but with more accuracy 
Um, but honestly, it just felt really weak and just felt like a really weird weapon to use, so I was never really a fan of this weapon. Now, the TAC SMG. If Since we're basing it off of right now, I'm just gonna say that it's, it's good. It's a good weapon. They nerfed the fire rate a lot, so you can't really spray through boxes anymore. But the damage is still decent, and it still has kind of a fi uh, high fire rate. So those two things combined can shred people, but it's not as good as it once used to be. Jackal Launcher, literally the same as the RPG, so I'm just going to put it in godlike tier. Heavy Shotgun. This used to be my favorite shotgun of all time. I'm going to put it... Mm, I'm going to put it at great. Because at the time, that was the long range type of shotgun that you wanted to use. Didn't have a super high max damage, but you could shoot people from farther with it. And for some reason, despite it having a lower damage, it just felt like it hit so hard. So, I really like this weapon, and I used to use it all the time. So, I think the heavy shotgun belongs in great. One of my all-time favorites. <coughs> then, the common through blue revolver. I'm gonna say it's good. Once again, not in the ideal loadout, but the headshot damage was really high. So if you could hit headshots with it, then you could kill people in two shots because it would do over 100 damage. So just hit the headshots and you'll do pretty good with it. The semi-auto sniper. Now, this thing did a pretty low amount of damage. It couldn't one-shot a headshot. Uh, it's an OG weapon. I'll put it at decent. Um, it is a pretty good weapon. Uh, it had it was technically an automatic sniper because if you held down the trigger, then it would keep firing. But it was pretty slow. And also, it had multiple rounds in a single mag. But the body shot damage was kind of weak for a sniper. And it wouldn't one shot headshot people if they had full shields. So. That kind of brought it down a little bit. If it had higher damage, I would put it. But I guess they just wanted to balance it so that it wouldn't be super OP, which is understandable. So it's going to fall at decent. The Thermal AR. Personally, I like this weapon. But if I'm going to be honest with you, mm, it was kind of... It was decent. I mean, it was more useful for finding chests and supply drops, and you could find players running around, and it had a pretty high amount of accuracy considering it had a low fire rate, and it could have a pretty high headshot damage, so it wasn't a terrible weapon, but it wasn't really that good either. <coughs> the pistol. The pistol was, hmm, good, or not good, decent. Pretty high amount of headshot damage, but it's a pistol, so it's not really in the ideal loadout. 16 round mag, which is pretty good, and it could be used at close range mostly, but it's not the best. Let's see. The. Hmm. No one really used the burst SMG, I'm gonna be honest, but I feel like it has a lot of potential and it can actually be good. Uh, it would saw down builds really quick. The reload was pretty good. And it was like an auto burst, and it would shoot full round burst. If you could connect full entire bursts on people, that was going to do a lot of damage. So you just got to connect the bursts, and it should do a lot of damage. Obviously, use it up close because it's an SMG. Plus, it's burst fire, so you had to handle the recoil and use it at close range. But it was pretty good. The big chill. Or no, that's the exotic version of it. Um, I actually don't know where that went, but whatever. Ha! <laughs> it was basically the grenade launcher, but I'm pretty sure it exploded on impact, so it was like really OP. It was basically the damage of a grenade launcher, but it had the impact explosion of a rocket launcher, so it was really great. I might have to put it at godlike because of that. It was just really strong, and it's annoying to face against. the suppressed auto sniper this gun has two features in one 
and I want to put it in great, but I feel like it's not going to be up there with the Scar, but it's it's a good weapon. I mean, yes, it is a projectile weapon, so it's going to be harder to aim, but it comes with the suppressor, you'll be harder to, to detect, and it was automatic, came with a pretty good amount of ammo and a mag, and people weren't going to be seeing the shots flying in time to be able to dodge them, so you could connect multiple shots. And also, this thing had no damage drop off because it was considered a sniper rifle. So honestly, I think this is pretty good. I'm I've been doing pretty good with it lately, so I'm starting to become a pretty big fan of this weapon right here. The damage trap. The damage trap was pretty godlike. I mean, countless clips of people getting trapped. Let's be honest here. You're doing an insane amount of damage. If you didn't have at least a hundred in 51 shield then you were gonna die and most of the time people set up more than one trap to ensure you died So yeah, it was pretty OP and if you knew how to box people then they were done <laughs> The stink bow the primal stink bow was great. I Mean it had the stink bomb effect, but it used arrows as the ammo so you could pressure people do damage to them uh, It would ignore their shields just like the stink bomb but you could also shoot them with it like it was a regular bow, so uh, a lot of damage with one shot right there, a lot of damage potential, so it was a great weapon. Uh, I'm going to put the Storm Scout and the Exotic Storm Scout in the same tier. I'm going to say they're good, because it had a pretty good amount of no-scope accuracy, so trick shotting. But also, it had one-shot headshot potential and did a pretty good amount of damage. And it would tell you where the next storm circle was. So it had multiple uses. And it was pretty strong. And had six rounds in a mag. So it was basically a bolt action sniper. But with more features. So I think it's pretty good. I'm only putting it at good. Because I feel like I haven't used it enough to really know. Maybe if it ever does come back. Or if I end up getting the exotic version. If it's even in the game. I'm not really sure. But if I do use it again. Maybe I'll know. The normal SMG. I want to say the normal SMG is a decent weapon. It's not in my ideal loadout. SMGs really aren't in my loadout at all. But if you connect the shots with the mag, about a 30 round mag, it would do a lot of damage. And the reason why is because of the fast fire rate. So if you use this up close to someone, then it had a pretty good chance of killing them. Combat shotgun. This thing used to be insanely OP in Season 9, and everybody used it, but then they nerfed it a lot. However, I feel like this weapon still doesn't get enough love at all. It's really underrated, to be honest. I mean, it still does a decent amount of damage, certainly not as much as it used to. Pretty good amount of range, and that precision, uh, that small pellet spread, forces you to aim more accurately. And I feel like that helps a lot, and... When you chain the shots together, it's just a really satisfying feeling, so I think it's still up there and pretty good weapon. And I feel like people just need to use it and figure it out a bit more. And I honestly think it's actually a pretty good weapon. Um, the tactical shotgun. Uh, the common through blue version of it. Also a good weapon. Wouldn't do as much damage. Like the pump, uh, the pump did a lot more damage, the charge shotgun did a lot more damage, but it was a faster shotgun, a faster choice. So if you were the type to miss shots sometimes with the pump or just didn't really like it, then you could use the tack, you would have a higher fire rate and still maintain a pretty good amount of damage, it just had a wider pellet spread so the pellets wouldn't hit as much if you weren't close enough, but overall pretty good shotgun. Uh, the dub. Never used it. I don't really know how the dub does. I never really used it. Now the Shadow Tracker is a good weapon. <clears throat> I mean, it's a suppressed pistol. It's got the suppressor, the pretty good damage and fire rate. But also, once you shot your enemies with it, it would mark them in red so that you'd know where they are for a short amount of time. So that was basically just the suppressed pistol, but with an extra good feature on it. I mean, why wouldn't you want that? 
the epic and legendary attack shotgun. Uh, I don't know if I would put it in godlike, cause in some cases it can outduel the pump. But to be honest, I think it's great. Cause even though it can outduel the pump, honestly, if you're good enough with the pump, you'll probably finish off the opponent in one shot. But the attack shotgun, the reason why I say it can outduel the pump is because of the speed and still the extremely high damage. If you get close enough and make your opponent panic then and they miss their shot then they're probably screwed because this thing can kill you in about two shots so really good shotgun good speed and good damage so overall it's it's up there in the shotgun category the mounted turrets very annoying um they're pretty good I mean their turrets they do overheat but they did a lot of damage and they were mostly just used for destroying vehicles but yeah uh, I guess that's what I think never really use them because I mean they only spawn at the bases now so they're not really that amazing and there's no airplanes but there are cars um the batarang the batarangs were good because they would do explosive damage so you could direct hit someone with it or you could set up a trap so that if someone walked into it it would actually explode too so they were really useful and they would do a lot of damage and they would fly pretty far so the batarangs were pretty good the airstrike uh... I feel like I've never used this in a normal game before to be honest I never really carried it around um, the mythic goldfish, I've only used it against my friends because it's so rare that you're probably never going to see it in the actual game. But it's pretty great because, I mean, it's hard to use because it's a slow moving projectile, but it's literally a one hit kill. So if you could hit someone with this and if you ever do manage to find it, then you would get one shot, one kills. Alright, down to the last few items. This is the tin can. Obviously, it's awful. It did 10 damage. Uh, it's not meant to be used as like a normal weapon, really. It's just, I don't know, kind of to be funny, I guess. <coughs> the firefly jars are decent. Not the damage, it's, or the damage itself is really high when you first throw it at someone. But then the fire damage would really be annoying and it would spread everywhere. So these can be pretty useful for getting people out of their hiding spots. The flare gun. The flare gun was good. Not only does it do fire damage and that could help you do a lot of damage to the opponent. It would also locate enemies within a pretty far radius. So you could see where all the enemies were within an area. So... This was pretty useful for finding enemies. It was kind of like the recon scanner at the time, but it had a much bigger radius. Now we got the lightsabers. This is the Kylo Ren one. I don't think I used it when it was released at that time, so I'm going to put it in never used. The grenades. The grenades are mm, decent. They can do a lot of damage, it's 100 damage, but honestly, no one really uses them that much, other than to just spam them against the enemies, but they can be good if you know where to throw them. Recycler? Uh, I don't know about this weapon too much, but I've heard it's awful. Uh, I'm just gonna put it in never use, but I've never used the Recycler. Same thing with the scythe. I've carried it before, but never felt like actually hitting people with it. And then the landmines. Decent. You could set up some funny little traps against people. They wouldn't do the most damage, but they still did a pretty decent amount. And you could be really annoying with them, so... It's pretty funny. Alright. Uh, that is gonna be it for this video. As you can see, this is every... pretty much every item. And that's going to be it. Peace out.